Hi, what's up YouTube? It's the 12th of December 2022, very cold and not very windy. Uh, I've kind of promised a few people I'd make this video a while ago where I'm going to use this, what I would call a budget wind turbine controller, uh, a budget meter, which actually sits like that when it's in the display with this little button on the right hand side which uh, turns the blue backlight off and then we've got the shunt regulator. These three things. Firstly, with regards to the controller, it's a very simple like I say, it's a budget unit, not recommended for high power wind turbines. Even though it says 48 volt on there, I haven't tried it at 48 volts, but I know it works well with 12 and 24 volts. So if you've got a 12, 24 volt Chinese basic turbine or a Rutland wind turbine, or when you've got a fan good or anywhere, then this might work for you. Uh, wiring wise, it's actually very simple from this end. So these three are the power input from the wind turbine and these two will need to be connected to the meter in a roundabout kind of fashion. So the first thing we can do really is put one of these on here and then that's those three wires taken care of. Right, that's that taken care of now. I just need to go and scavenge some wire. Right, I've got some bits of wire. So the first thing we're going to do is to connect, we're going to connect these two first because I don't know if you can see from the diagram, they go to the top and the bottom of the shunt. So this one, I need a wire going from here to here and then I need a wire going from here to the bottom of the shunt. So let's do that. So we're going to get two wires, so this one that one is going to go to the top shunt on the small side That's the easy ones done. Now uh, we have this one, which has to go from here to this one on the bottom edge of the shunt. So let's do that. I'm going to use a thicker wire for that. Right, we need two wires on this bit. We've got two separate wires, and all will be revealed in a minute. Right, I'm going to solder that loop on, hopefully. Other way around. This one, one of them has to go to the bottom corner of the shunt. So one of these wires is going to straight in there. And now this one, from here, will go to the negative DC input from the wind turbine controller, which is there. There you go. That's how we do it, he says, it will go, it will go gently gently. And so, we have a lot of wires. So, one of these, this one, will connect to the positive DC input from the wind turbine.
scrub that. <clears throat> I think I made a bit of a balls up this one. This one here goes just goes to the negative load. That just goes to the negative load. Uh, that ended up a bit messy, but it works. As I'll just show you with this. If you watch the screen. Oh, sorry. So you can see there, the battery. 8.76 volts. Uh, it's not showing any power, what's being made, because there isn't any made, and it's not showing any current, because there isn't any current being made. Once the wind generator is connected to here, uh, then that's what will happen. This will get replaced by the car batteries, obviously. So that's it. The, the how-to ended up a bit of a mess, really, didn't it? But I'll take some photos of everything. And what I'll do, I'll put it on speed up while I sort the cabling out. But that is good news because that, that all works properly. And really, as well, I could try it with a solar panel because the solar panel could just go in there, replacing the wind turbine stuff. Yeah, let me sort out these cables a bit and then I'll be back in a minute. So this is how it ended up. The last yellow cable I was doing ends up going to here. So they're the two DC out. And this uh, is to the batteries. So obviously this wire needs replacing after here. But that is ready to go as demonstrated with the wee battery. Cheers.